Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster and music journalist based in the UK. Today I'd like to talk to you about this. New out on Cherry Red, L7, remember them? Came out sort of early 90s, ran about the time that everyone was going mad about the grunge movement coming out of Seattle with Nirvana and Mudhoney and uh, Pearl Jam. And oddly enough, L7 played a lot with, with Pearl Jam at the festivals and things like that. What you get here are the three albums. There you go, together, or eight, three albums. Bricks are Heavy, Hungry for Stink, and The Beauty Process, okay? Um, a lot of people will remember the single, Pretend That We're Dead. Um, they were quite a confrontational band at the time, I, I remember thinking. Um, good band, though, I have to say, really, I mean, really good band. And um, they also are remembered for, I, I guess, a little... Uh, I think it's one of them sort of tabloid things that the papers went mad about at the time. The guitarist, Donita Sparks, was on The Word, which is a British TV program hosted by Terry Christian. And they played Pretend We're Dead. And <laughs> Donita jumped on top of the amp and dropped their pants, which was uh, an interesting end to the song, it must be said. But another uh, again, quite confrontational again. She was on stage at a festival, removed her tampon, and threw it out into the audience and you know that obviously got attention but I think it drew away from the music really uh, which is generally very very good and it's great to have these three albums out there they did very well at the time I remember them and the band are, are sort of having went on hi hiatus I think for a while um, I'm now back again they're touring Donita's still in the band but it, again if you get the chance to see L7 and that was uh, an advertising poster where I think the, um, I'm not sure what, which album it was. I remember, I think it was a tour actually. But uh, again, as you can see, very, very feminist oriented and very, very confrontational, but a great band nevertheless. And, and Cherry Red have put all these, these three albums together. And I think it's a really nice way of uh, getting into L7. Um, of course, if you're not interested in the kind of uh, music that was coming out in the early 90s, the kind of br grunge, era um i hate that thing grunge era there, there was an awful lot of creative um talent about the early 90s and it was coming out of seattle uh, bands like soundgarden pearl jam nirvana of course and um, a lot of them were really really great bands there was an element of angriness in there if you listen to any of the music from those bands there is an element of, of anger in amongst there but there's some great songs that came out of that period and L7 were definitely part of that particular sort of time and era. And as I said, this particular three CD set is definitely worth investigating. And uh, the, the music stands up very well, I have to say. And uh, it's a shame that they weren't a little bit bigger at the time, but they're still remembered. And obviously they still have a fan base and they're still touring. So it's good to have this out. Uh, capturing their sort of early years as it were so there you go it's available from cherry red uh, i've probably got the address running through at the bottom of this video also if you want to go and buy it go to the cherry red website cherryred.co.uk put in the search for item l7 and this will come up for you you can buy it directly from cherry red and they dispatch all over the world as well so thanks for watching this and enjoy l7